Hey guys, take a minute to the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix the problem where message of blocking is active. What does this mean and what things you can do to fix this problem? You may have noticed this when you're texting someone that you're unable to send the message. Now, the easiest and the simple explanation behind this is that there is a blocking happening to that contact. Either you're blocking them or there is a setting in the APM or the SMSC that's uh, blocking this and causing this problem. So we're going to walk you through all the troubleshooting steps that you need to do in order to fix this problem. So let's get started. So the very first thing, of course, is if you are having that problem is to verify the number that you're texting is the correct number. Now, it sounds really simple, but sometimes you might have entered one number wrong and it's not getting the number. So just verify the number you're texting, right, is the correct number and retry again. Now, if you know that's correct, the next thing you want to do is pull down the control menu here, put your phone on airplane mode and turn it back off. And that does a quick network refresh with cellular service in your Wi-Fi as well. So if there's any issue going on with the network, it will fix it for you. You can also go to your settings, turn on airplane mode just like this briefly and then turn it back off and does a quick network refresh. Now, after you have done that and you're still having issues, it's time to go ahead and open up the message app itself. Go ahead and swipe and close it out and then force restart your iPhone. So in order to do that, you're going to press and release the volume up, followed by press and release the volume down. So volume up, volume down one after another really quick. And then you're going to hold the side button until the screen goes completely black. And once you see the Apple logo appear, you'll let go of that button. So I'll do volume up, volume down. And then I hold the side button just like that. And as you can see here, you keep on holding that side button. Do not uh, slide to power off and wait till the phone again shows the Apple logo. Once it's completely black, that's fine. And then we're going to wait till we see the Apple logo and we let go. It takes about a few seconds or so. But basically, this is shutting down the phone completely and reloading the code. So if it's a software-related issue impacting your iPhone, hopefully it will resolve that issue that you're having with message being blocked. And once you're back on, you should be good to go. Now, this method will not delete any of your personal data. As you can see, all of your photos, videos, apps will still be on your phone now. So if it still didn't happen, the next thing you want to do is go into your setting of your iPhone and then go to general and then take a look at your date and time. And the reason why you want to check this is you're going to verify that the time that is shown here is the same time on your local time zone. So if you're recently moved, traveled across different time zone, it might have not reflected the change. So you can turn this off manually, set it to the time zone by hand. And then once you're ready, you can always turn it on automatically. But by default, it should be set automatically. That's the best way to have the time set. But you want to ensure that the time and the date is correct. Now, after you've done that and still not working, it's time to see if there is a carrier update available. And if there's a carrier update available, what's going to happen is you're going to go to your setting of your iPhone. You're going to go to general. And you're going to wait on the about page. On the about page, you give it about 10 to 20 seconds. There should be a pop-up that will show up if there is a carrier update to update your carrier and that's how carrier updates happen and if there's no pop-up that's fine that means your carrier is up to date and we can move on to the next troubleshooting step which is going to be to check if the contact that you're messaging happens to be on your blocked list so in the setting of your iphone go into your phone app and once you go into your phone app you're going to see here blocked contacts so you're going to click on, go to your block list you'll see all these numbers Go ahead and check to make sure that a number you're texting is in there. If it is there, just simply swipe over and then just click on unblock so you can unblock that number just like that. And you want to do and you want to do that for any number so that it's not blocked on your iPhone. Now, after you have done that, it's still not working. It's time to go ahead into your setting of your iPhone and then go to general. Go all the way down here where it says transfer reset iPhone. You're gonna click on that, click on reset. And we want to do a quick network reset. And the network reset is the settings themselves. Things like connected or saved Wi-Fi password will have to get reconnected. Any Bluetooth device will have to get reconnected. But it's important to do that because you'll need to reset your network. And this will not delete any of your personal data. So all of your photos, videos, apps will still be on your phone. But you'll need to do that in order to troubleshoot your Again, messaging being blocked. Now, after you have done that, it's still not working, right? You want to go ahead into your setting of your iPhone, go to general, software update, and check if there's a software update available. If there is, go ahead and update your phone. Give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes so you can do the update itself successfully. Make sure your phone is at least 50% or more charged or connected to a power source when you're doing the update. 
And after you update, hopefully that message blocking issue is gone. Now, if you're still having an issue, the next thing you want to do in your setting of your iPhone is go into your settings. Uh, and then this time we're going to go to our messages. We're going to turn off iMessage really quick and then turn it back on and go back again and click on iMessage and verify that you're signed into your iMessage again. And also want to ensure that send as SMS is turned on as well so that message can go as I SMS if iMessage is not available. And again, if after doing all this, your message issue is still being blocked, it's time to go ahead and contact your carrier to verify that your phone service is working as expected and also verify with your contact that you're trying to message if they can send a message to you maybe give them a call see if you can call them and figure out if they can send you a message and if they can maybe that will activate the messaging between both of you so i hope this video was helpful if so please make sure to like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time